can tell how healthy a man's doctrine is by the way he lives. For the scripture says that he that hath this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. So if I'm living a careless life, a worldly life, with no thoughts of God, it doesn't matter what my doctrine is, I don't really believe in the imminent return of Christ. When we speak about the imminent return of Christ, we don't mean that he could come at any time. That's not what we mean by that. You see, there's a specific day that God has on his calendar. What we mean is, the Lord could come at any time as far as we're concerned. We're not waiting for anything to happen down here. When he said his kingdom was at hand, it didn't mean that he was going to do it. If I say this cup is at hand, I don't necessarily have to pick it up. I'm simply saying there's nothing stopping me from picking it up. So he spoke of his kingdom being at hand. In other words, at any time he could reach out and take it. Just a word from his father and the thing was settled. There's not a thing necessary to be fulfilled before the Lord Jesus returns. We are not looking for signs. I am not waiting for them to find the ashes of the red heifer. I could care less. We are waiting for his son from heaven. That's what we're waiting for. So we shouldn't be ignorant of this fact. That even though God's schedule is different than ours, it could happen today. And if that's true, then when should we be doing the things we know we ought to be doing? The devil's word is always tomorrow, do it tomorrow. And for some reason, the urgent things rarely seem to be important. And the important things rarely seem to be urgent. I mean, I've got to pick up the laundry today. You know, I've got to get the poodle clip today. I've got to get my lawn cut today. But I don't have to read my Bible today. I can always do that tomorrow. I don't have to witness to my neighbor today. I can do that tomorrow. And so the devil makes sure that on our list of to-do things for the day, we always have more than enough urgent things so that we never quite get to the important things. And they always get bumped off to the next day, and the next day, and we never quite get to those things. When should we be doing the things we know we ought to be doing? You can never do a good thing too soon, because you never know how soon it'll be too late. Now's the time to do it. Is there a brother that you need to be reconciled to? Then do it. Don't wait. Don't wait for the judgment seat. If you can get it straightened out now, now's the time to do it. Now God tells us that he's very long-suffering. But one of these days is going to be the day. The question is, do you live in the conscious, certain, daily enjoyment that this could be it? And so, he that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure.